Hi, it's Kano. Welcome back to my closet. Uh, you may notice that it's a little different, <laughs> the view. Uh, so this video is a little bit late because I've been kind of just decluttering, reorganizing, changing things up in my closet here. So new view for you. Hope you like it. Happy Halloween, almost. I'm so excited. Anyway, this is an update for Project Pan Roulette Collab started by Rebecca and Alexi. I'll link them down below as well as the playlist and everyone else who's a part of this and the spreadsheet in case you want to join. Yes, still can. Um, and I mean, you know, you only have a couple months left, but just saying. Um, oh, and the hashtag Roulette Pan Collab is the Instagram tag. So follow there if you want to check that out. Okay, let's get into the update. I'm excited. First is the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done per Complexion Perfector SPF 30 in the shade Medium Light. This guy right here. So that's what this one's looking like. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell if I'm getting anywhere, but I use this every time I do my makeup. And this little guy is peeling up. So that's kind of the only way that I can tell that this is actually going anywhere really. <laughs> it's just because it's as it sucks in a little bit more, the sticker kind of can't hold on. So anyway, working on it diligently. I don't need much of this because I have to thin it out with, um, with these Total Control Drops from NYX in the pale shade so that I can use it because it is too dark for me. But I'm gonna use this up or if it goes off, then if it goes bad, then I will ditch it then. But for now, still working on it. Still going, still going. Never ends. Next, I have the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer uh, in the shade Vanilla 02. Um, Anyway, it's not in the original container because this was two samples that I put in here. I was wanting to use this up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it up, but let me show you my progress because I feel like I'm doing really well with this. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because it's pretty bright. Let me see. Can you see it? Going pretty well. Should be done with that. I mean, you know, maybe not by the end of this project, but I sure I'm gonna try. The next item I have is Japanesque Velvet Touch Blush, and this is shade number five. Um, it's cute packaging, I've shown you that. Uh, and the shade is number five, as I've said. Uh, my goal for this was to have like a noticeable mark in it, you know? And I can see that I've disturbed it, but I wanted to maybe just at least get a dip in it. So I'll show you this. So there we are right there. I'm going to keep using this. I don't think I'm there yet. I want more of a mark than that. So those aren't done. So that's three. This guy right here is Spellcaster from Beauty Bar Baby. It's like a quad shifting pigment, but it's pressed. And there it is here. It's so pretty. It's got like a black, blue, purple fuchsia shift to it. Let me just show you if I can. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it's super pretty. And I have used this exactly zero times. Not doing very well on that one. I think I said I wanted to use this 10 times. I haven't. I think it's gorgeous. I will use it. I will get it done. It's not an issue. So, oh well. Not too worried about that. I think I can do it, uh, especially since it's like a use situation and not like a pan kind of thing. I think I'll be all right. So the next thing I chose was the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. And specifically, I chose 
the shade cube right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's got like this weird discoloration and it's just very, kind of gets like hard pan. Uh, so does electric. They're not the best shades in here. I have, I have other things that are actually exactly like those. And so I put this in here with the intention of deciding whether or not I wanted to declutter this. I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I love a grungy eye look. I love grungy makeup in general. It's kind of my favorite thing. So anyway, I put this in here because I have so many palettes like this and this one's kind of a pain in the ass to work with. So <laughs> I was like, well, I can make it work, but do I want to with all the palettes that I have? Um, and let me tell you, I came into this project pretty much knowing that I was going to declutter this. So that was going to be my goal was to decide whether I want to keep this in my collection or not. That being said, uh, that is what's on my eyes today, along with like a glitter liner from Urban Decay, punk rock, if you're wondering. And um, that's it. So it's all from this palette. That's what I'm wearing today. And like I said, I came into this project knowing that I was most likely going to declutter this. And I have to tell you that as a result of using this in this project, <laughs> I have decided to keep this palette. I do still love it. Um, there are certain colors that are a pain, but I'm getting better at it. So I do really love this eye look. Um, I love a color story so, so much. When this came out, I was all about it. So I ordered it like the first day uh, from Anastasia's site. I returned it and then I got another one later on, uh, which was supposed to be an improved formula. I don't know if it is or not, but um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this after this week, uh, especially. So like I had been using my throwing shade palettes, but then I finally started digging into this. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping her. I really, 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 really do still love this. I'm going to keep this. And on that note, I'm moving this out of the project because that was my goal. So we'll get to roll for another one. And last but not least, I had the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat Cream, like Vice Lipstick uh, Cream Formula in Abstract. I'm wearing that on my lips today. I'm wearing everything today except for the Spellcaster eyeshadow, the quad chrome, and this blush. I just really wanted to wear um, what's this one. I just really wanted to wear this blush I got from MAC called Faux Sure, and um, it's freaking beautiful. Love. So I really just really wanted to wear it. So I did. Anyway. Okay, so abstract, last time I was up to the top of the D in the UD here. Can you see it? Yeah, I was at the top of that. And now I have this guy. Can you even see that? Yeah, I'll, I'll just show you. So I am actually, holy cow, at the bottom of the D. Let me see if I can show you that without destroying it. So I am now at the bottom of that D. I'm making great progress on this. Surprise, surprise. It's my favorite lipstick. <laughs> so it's not really a problem. I mean, it's top three. Tomboy is my other favorite. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, it's one of my favorite lipsticks. And I really, really, really still need to find a dupe for this. So uh, I will be looking into that before I finish this. So look for that. Maybe I'll update you in my next update. So anyway, that's not done. So we're going to keep playing with that. So basically, I only have one that's finished because I'm rolling this out because I am keeping it. So by the way, do you guys like my Halloween shirt. It's 
my Bloody Mary. <laughs> Let's conjure Bloody Mary. Yeah. Uh, honestly, when I go into the bathroom with this and see the mirror, freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm a big fat baby, but I'm trying to desensitize myself. I've been watching American Horror Story. I'm on season four. Um, clowns are like the worst and that clown is the worst of all clowns, but I will get through it. So there's that. Okay, let's get my list out here and roll. Okay, I hope I cleared this of all the ones I've already gotten. If not, I'll just take it out of the list and we'll roll again. So let's go, let's see what we're doing. <laughs> anywhere oh. number five a product you bought because of YouTube hmm I don't do that a lot so let me check okay I'm ready so a product I bought because of YouTube 100% is the Becca Undry brightening corrector uh, this has actually been in this project before I think along with both of these, no, I don't think this was, maybe, I don't think so, but along with both of these. So this has been in the project before. I want to hit pan in it and I still have not. So uh, basically I was using this and I was getting really close because as my nails get longer, I have to stick a brush in here. <laughs> But then I cut my nails off and have been going, clearing it around the edges pretty darn well. So there's still plenty to go before I hit pan, I think. Uh, anyway, let me give you a look in here. Can you even see? It's hard to see. There it is. So there it is. You can see I've gotten around the edges quite well. So. I would like to hit pan on this. Shouldn't be a problem. I love it. So that's going to be everything. I um, think we got two months left. That's why I picked this because in two months I would love to hit pan on this. And also I've had it for a while so I need to. I use it a lot but I don't use a lot of it if you know what I'm saying. So anyway I only put it where the shadows are to kind of reflect the light. But anyway want to hit pan on this. I think I might be able to finish this NARS concealer. I might be able to finish this. God, it's just going forever. I might be able to finish this. I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm doing pretty well, honestly. So um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, that is going to be everything. Like I say, check out the playlist down below. Uh, watch everybody's. It's a really good binge. Watch if you're into that, which I am. Um, and I love a category roulette kind of a theme. So anyway, check it out. So that's going to be everything for this video. Uh, if y'all liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you would like to, I would greatly appreciate that. Love to have you here. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or anything, leave them down below. I love talking to you guys and I will see y'all later. Bye.